hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today i will be showing you how i make curried fish so if you do it differently make sure that you comment below and let me know let's get into this video i'm gonna start off by prepping my fish and guys you want to make sure that your fish is nicely seasoned well in advance here i have some uh, flour and some baking powder i'm gonna start off by mixing in my baking powder and flour together and guys, you don't have to use baking powder if you don't want to. You can leave that out and it will work just as fine. But with the addition of the baking powder, it does gives it a really nice crispy exterior. So once that is mixed, I am going to flour my fish and come back to show you. So here is the fish all nicely floured and I did knock off the excess as well. I'm going to set that aside and check on the oil that I have on medium heat guys because you don't want it to burn. Here I am tasting the old fashioned way and now that the oil is ready, I am going to place them in there. And guys, you want to make sure that uh, you don't put too much of the fish in there at the same time as you want your fish to be evenly cooked. So once it has some nice and golden brown on one side, I'm going to flip it to the other side and allow it to to save or cook. Once that is done, I will come back to show you. So here it is all nicely done and this is what I was speaking about. It's nice and crispy and golden brown. I'm going to set that aside to drain as well as to cool. Well, yeah, set it aside <laughs> and move on to my potatoes. So here is my potatoes and I am going to wash them and I'm going to peel them and cut them up so here it is all done I am going to set that aside and, and I also did chop up some garlic and some onion here is the, the curry powder that I will be using and you will see that shortly as well as the black pepper usually I like to use cayenne but I'm going to be using black pepper today and here I also have my freshly made green seasoning. So I do have a pot on the heat already with some oil. I'm going to pour in or go in, sorry, with my onion and garlic, followed by some of that homemade green seasoning. And I'm going to be very generous with the curry. So I'm going to put in some good curry in there. And I am going to mix that until everything is well combined. And guys, you want to fry it for a few minutes. Another reason why I also fry the fish is to help keep the firmness of the fish when I do um, do my curries. So yeah, just thought I insert that here. <laughs> so once my um, my um, ingredients, the curry and everything has been fried nicely, I am gonna go in with some water, as you can see here, and give that a really good mix. So once that is done, I'm gonna cover back the pot and allow it to come to a boil. Now that it's boiling, it's time for me to add in the potatoes and I'm going to go in with the potatoes, give that a good mix. And I'm also going to go in with some more water. Once that is added, I'm going to cover my pot and allow it to come to a boil. So here it is guys, it's boiling and it's time for seasoning. I'm going in with some salt. The homemade green seasoning black pepper and a little bit of parsley flakes and give that a really good mix and then I'm gonna allow this to cook once it's done I will come back to, or almost done I should say I will come back to show you so here it is guys it's actually nicely cooked and it's almost done so now I'm gonna place my fish in there and you want to be careful guys when placing your fish in the pot because you don't want any accident or anything of the sort 
So now that it's in there, I'm going to gently mix it around to make sure that the fish is well coated in that uh, curry, curry sauce at the moment. <laughs> yes. And um, I'm going to allow it to boil for a few more minutes. And here it is, guys, all nicely done. I am going to plate and I will come back to show you guys what it looks like. So here is the finished product, guys. And I did cook some basmati rice. Also, you can uh, use uh, whatever um, side that you want with this. But uh, yeah, today this is, we are using, sorry, basmati rice. And I hope that you did enjoy today's video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.